welcome to the All-Star Game. We're going to be doing a 6v6 double battle instead of standard, you know, 4v4vv3. Outside of that, it's still essentially vv3. We've decided upon maps so we can showcase both teams of All-Stars as well as possible. So without further ado, let's just quickly run through these teams. We have Teferi and Kusanto. We have Moko and some Kyoko with Mimikyu running from Alola. We have Phalanx training from Gallo. We have Ursaluna training from Hifu. And we have Obolkill also running from Hifu. Obol owns Platinum as far as in battle. We have Milotic from Hoenn. We have Tessera from Sinnoh, which is interesting to include since uh, they did do it in the game. But continuing on, we have Among Us from Among Us. Uh, uh, yes, Among Us <laughs> from from uh, Unova. We have Talonflame from Kalos. We have the Population Bomb Dangerous Malkov from Paldea. And we have Legend of Ursaluna also running from Haldera. Both of these squads had uh, success with these individual Pokemon. These are deemed as our All-Stars self-selected. In future formats, we are going to do a fan vote to enter the remaining five of you to just select and like to make sure that the fans decide because that's typically how all star games go so without further ado let's jump into this battle mochi mochi mayhem starts off this all star game which of these two all star all, all star squads will show their muscles in victory as Phalanx and Morko come out for Gummy Squad against the Talonflame and Mousehold for Platinum Squad. Mmm, this is a bop. It is always great. How will this torn go? Terrasalization comes out with the Phalanx into the Steel type, which can be quite dangerous with a Talonflame across the field. Talonflame using Tailwind to boost the speed of this side of the field. As Morkro does the same thing on Gummy's side, both sides are fast AF, as the youngins say as Morkro is going to be decimated by this population bomb but not prior to being able to get a very important tailwind off as Phalanx is literally grittying all over the field getting the Omni boost from no retreat we shall see as he is no longer able to escape we shall see if this will play well as Clefairy comes out from Gummy Squad in a beautiful luxury ball, I might add. This music is bop in. Everybody do the chicken dance. Chicken dance. Ah uh, yes, Helping Hand comes out from the Phalanx um, from the Clefairy into the Phalanx's position as Rock Slide is going to hit both of these team members and Inri, the Talonflame, is going to hold on to its Focus Sash as a Will-O-Wisp goes into the Phalanx, neutering its attack for the remainder of the battle. Mouse Hold is going to use Taunt into the Clefairy to prevent it from using helpful moves for the rest of the battle. This Torn noodled Gummy's squad quite well. No longer to, to be able to do any damage. Gummy has to contemplate switching 
or no longer being able to support. Gummy has to contemplate switching Clefairy as Talonflame is switched out on the side of the field of Platinum. In comes Torterra. Clefairy also comes out as stated potential before as the Overquill comes in to replace it. Gritty uses Rock Slide doing very minimal damage to both of these Pokemon and Mouse Hold is flinched due to the King's Rock being held by Gritty. Also, Rock Slide has a higher flinch rate. Mm. This song is a bop. Fairy Lynx is dancing and so is everybody else. Comment down below what your favorite part of the DLCs have been so far. Comment down below also what you thought of the most recent Pokemon Presents. Did you like what was announced? Did you hate it? Gritty using Iron Head into the Torterra spot to do very minimal damage due to the Born it has taken as Population Bomb is going to go into Big Ol' Puff Daddy, the Oval Quill. Will this be Overkill into the Oval Quill? It will! The overkill into the overquill spot as that moss hold picks up the KO. What will Torterra do as it sets up a shell smash, which it was previously practically unable to do in all prior battle? <laughs> as its attack and special attack all raising, and also its speed as its defenses are falling. And Gritty is being chipped out via the Born, and Tailwind has fallen on both teams, which is hilarity because it doesn't actually matter because just the speed was the same anyway. Which Pokemon will Gummy bring in? He has chosen to bring in Hoalola, which means best friend. In Hawaii, if you did not know, just kidding, actually, um, ho aloha means best friend in Hawaii, Hawaiian, and to add the flair, I added it to ho alola, because that's the name of the Alola region, and as I have, um, spared some time being, via talking about random things, as my brain is going all over the place, as I've recorded way too many videos in the last 24 hours, Platinum is going to... Use up his terrestrialization into the Torterra to terrestrialize into the Steel type, a very great defensive option. As this Torterra is filled with rage, Mousehold using Follow Me to redirect all damage into itself. Torterra is going to use Bullet Seed into Hoalola, taking out its disguise. Its disguise has been busted. It takes a little tiny bit of HP due to that, and then it is hit by the very oh-so-powerful Bullet Seed. And this bullet has been shot from a Glock. Which is funny that I said that because it's a still type total. And it's a Glock. You get it? Mousehold has avoided the attack, staying alive that much longer. This Mousehold surprisingly has had a good bit of vitality. Can Gummy do anything against this Torterra? Can Gummy break this Torterra? Which of the loyal three is your favorite? Monkey Dory, Okie Doggy, or Pheasantipity? As Helping Hand goes into the spot of the Phalanx. Bullet Seed is going to go into the Clefairy. Will this Clefairy be able to live the onslaught of four to five of these being most likely powered up by a loaded dice? It has hit four times. And Gritty goes ahead and uses Rock Slide to take out that Mouse Hold and Mouse Hold, not Mouse Hold, to, to do uh, also a little bit of chip damage into the Torterra. That could be potentially all Gummy needed, or it could be not enough, as the Among Us comes out that will be able to redirect damage coming in, and also potentially 
make some Pokemon fall asleep. Go, Grandma, go, Grandma, go. Go, Grandma, go, Grandma, go. Did y'all... Am I the only one who really loves the grandma dancing in the background to all of these battle videos? She's literally on multiple sides of the field. But don't get me wrong, I would be bop into these songs too. Clefairy is going to go ahead and use, to, use the Protect to be able to mitigate potential damage coming into it as Rage Powder is going to redirect damage into the Among Us. Bullet Seed is going to go into the protected slot of the Clefairy as Close Combat comes into the Amoga slot, not doing a lot of damage and lowering the defensive uh, defenses of this Phalanx in the process. Gritty is literally grittying all over the field. This Phalanx having its damage noodled is not good. It is sitting here like a lump on a log. Among Us is going to use the Rage Battle to redirect all potential moves into it as Clefairy is going to do the same thing across the field using Follow Me. And Bullet Seed is going to go into the Clefairy to go ahead and pick it off to take it out. Which takes out also its friend guard ability, which means um, the remaining Pokemon on the field will take normal damage from here on out. Or not normal, as in just, just whatever. I can't speak English today. What is going on? As this Rock Slide barely does any chip to both sides. As on his last leg, Gummy the Orsaluna comes out on the field for its potential last chance to do something. Whatever shall it do to be able to continue in this match? Everybody dance, everybody dance. Everybody dance, everybody dance. Sorry. Decisions are still being made by both of these competitors. Which decision shall be made that can potentially turn the tide of this as Rage Powder comes out from the Among Us? But both of these Pokemon do have spread moves, so that might be worth it as Rock Blast goes into the Bullet Proof. Or Saluna, as we have seen multiple times throughout this series, that that ability is forgotten about as Earthquake is going to hit everybody on the field, taking out the Torterra and the Phalanx and doing decent chip into the Among Us. But this is going to leave Gummy on the back leg with just his Orsaluna. Is just his Orsaluna enough to be able to do something against the rest of Platinum's all-star team? Did he take too long to take out that Torterra? Among Us is going to receive a little bit of HP back due to its black sludge. Grandma is dancing in the background quite lavishly. As Milotic comes out, as we've seen Milotic before, has huge damage reduction potential once it gets the born off. Milotic is going to use Coil, which is going to boost its attack and its defense to further boost its vitality against this physical attack. Well, Thunder Punch is going to go into the Milotic spot, not doing near enough damage as the Spore is going to connect into the Orsaluna spot to render it useless for the remainder of the battle. This appears to be checkmate for Platinum side of the field. It appears that Platinum side of the field will be taking a game one victory in this set of the All-Star Game. Hydro Pump is going to go into the Sleeping Orsaluna and almost take it out in one shot as Citrus Berry is going to restore a little tiny bit of health. What will Among Us do? Will it use a move called I Can't Remember? It is going to use Giga Drain! Yes! 
it does to take out this Orsaluna that is not the Blood Moon, that is the Hisuian variant. As Orsaluna faints, so does the rest of the team. Platinum has taken this Game 1 victory in this set of the All-Star Game of the Regional King format. Comment down below what has been your favorite part of this regional format. Comment down below also what Pokemon do you think should have been on our teams. I'm sure we both made mistakes in that because we split made this decision within just a couple minutes. Milotic and Talonflame lead the squad across the field as Morkro and Phalanx lead this side of the field. This is some amazing music. This is Champion Iris' battle theme all the way from Black 2, White 2 within Generation 5. This is always a bop. Will-O-Wisp is going to come out into the Milotic spot, immediately granting its ability to boost its defense. Milotic is going to avoid the Rock Slide, and Talonflame is going to be hit by the Rock Slide and the Foul Play, taking it out, turn one, to where this Phalanx can no longer be noodled, potentially, by any Bones. Milotic is going to boost its defense and its attack and its accuracy. That is the other thing that I forgot to mention about Coil previously. Decisions are being made by Platinum, of which Pokemon to send out. As he sends out Mousehold, the very dangerous population bomber. Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? I don't know. I'll find out. Gritty is literally fixing to Gritty all over the field. And it appears that Gummy still does not know what Quash does. As he goes in for the taunt into the mouse hold. As mouse hold uses population bomb into the Morkro spot to go ahead and take it out with an extra little critical hit on that final hit, which was number five. Mamba number five. Oh, look at that. The no retreat. It appears that this. Phalanx is grittying all over the dance field to Mamba number 5 as it gets an Omni boost straight in the face of both of these competitors as Milotic is going to be using Blizzard and it is going to hit Phalanx for more than decent damage all things considered. As Milotic does restore a little bit of HP with the, with the leftovers as we see there has been an item switch. Or well, I guess that switch happened all over. I don't know. I just now noticed there's a competitor. competitor co co commentator is actually what I was trying to say. As the Clefairy comes out for Gummy. I have been all over the place doing these videos. I decided to commentate them all in one weekend. Night and day. F starting from probably 4pm one night. Going all the way to close to 10pm into maybe from 2 to 4 p.m. the next day as Gummy is still making decisions of what to do, what to mitigate, what to fight through. Is Milotic the most dangerous one or is Mousehold? Are they both equally dangerous? Does anybody know what to do? Grandma is still dancing behind Platinum, as she always does. As less than 10 seconds remain in this move time, or Scummy is making a split-second decision to go with the Follow Me to redirect all damage into itself to protect the gritty grittying all over the dance floor as its defenses are going to fall after that close combat does not do a lot of damage into the Milotic as Population Bomb is going to land into the Clefairy spot. Will it be enough to take it out? Find out next episode on Dragon Ball Z. It does not. It lands all 10 and Clefairy lands, lives on 14 HP, but it does not matter as a critical hit on Phalanx 
completely takes it out with the blizzard and so does Clefairy fall. Gummy does not have a leg to stand on against this Milotic. Milotic might be the MVP of Hoenn's squad and potentially the MVP of this all-star game. Gummy is left with three Pokemon. Which one shall he bring out first to mitigate all potential possibilities to maybe pull a win con out of the slimmest of opportunities as Mimikyu and Overquill come out? Will they be able to do enough against this practically full team ahead of them? It is 5v2. This seems too insurmountable as Overquill is going to take a population bomb to the face. Will it be able to survive 10 hits? It does not appear to be so as it falls. It has fallen to the mouse hold. This mouse hold is quite dangerous as the Mimikyu sets up a sword dance to boost its attack for potential future attacks. As the disguise is busted via the blizzard and removing approximately, what, a quarter, an eighth of HP? I don't remember the mechanic and I ain't about to do math right here in front of everybody and embarrass myself. As my low tick takes a little tiny bit of HP, I do believe it is a quarter. Mousehold has shook off its taunt. And Orsaluna is going to come out as a misclick happened and almost tried to bring back the fainted Clefairy. Oh, he wishes he could mitigate damage. This mouse hold is looking very menacing, and so is Milotic. This team, this core, is very strong. Mouse hold using the follow me. But it does not matter because it is being taken out immediately by this Mimikyu with plus two attack as Blizzard goes into both of these Pokemon doing more than decent ship as Thunder Punch goes into Milotic not doing quite enough. Leftovers recovery is going to come out but is going to be dissipated by the born damage keeping its HP at the same ish value. Amoongus is going to come out. This seems like an insurmountable lead. It seems like Platinum is going to take a nice game to victory to take the All-Star game on top of his already previously won championship with his Paldean squad. Paldea, oh, little, little Platinum has dominated this tournament. Rage Paddle comes out from the Amoongus to redirect all damage into itself to protect this Milotic as Shadow Sneak is going to come out into the Amoongus doing more than decent chip. Blizzard is going to come out almost KOing both of these Pokemon. <clears throat> and the Citrus Berry is going to be eaten up by this Orsaluna bringing it close to half health as Thunder Punch goes into the Amoongus and doesn't hardly do any damage. It appears there is nothing that Gummy can do to survive for the rest of this battle. It does appear that Platinum is going to move on to take this all-star victory. Decisions are still being made by both of these competitors. This is on the wire. Gummy does not have much of a leg to stand on as Terrasalization is going to come out onto the field on Platinum's side with this Milotic. Turning into the water type to further boost its damage potential. Rage Powder is going to come out with the Amoongus to redirect all moves to mitigate damage onto this Milotic. Shadow Sneak is going to go into the Amoongus. 
doing a lot of damage, but quite not enough as Hydro Pump is going to land into the Orsaluna, taking it out. Leaving just Mimikyu, who has been busted on this field. Gummy has zero legs to stand on. Gummy might as well be a plank of wood as opposed to a table. Because a table has four legs and a plank of wood has none. As this music quells and me as the commentator has now music in the background that we are listening to. Rage Powder comes out from this Amoongus, becoming the center of attention. As always, as the Shadow Sneak could potentially pick up the KO against the Amoongus, and it does! But will it be enough coming from this practically perfect accuracy? Hydro Pump coming out of the Milotic into the Mimikyu, taking it out of commission as the All-Star game has been won by Platinum. What else is left in this video? I do not know. Just kidding. It's the end. I'm looking at my video timeline incorrectly. Thank you as always for watching this entire series. Click the playlist above to watch previous battles if you did not get to check in. And or just watch anything on my channel. Check out TPS Plat also. I should have been plugging him more throughout this whole series. And I just now realized I hadn't been. Sorry, TPS. Your channel's always been linked in these videos though. So, thank you as always for watching. Gummy out.